What is up guys, Deep News and Randy back and I'm bringing you a gameplay commentary on Black Ops 2 and you know what's weird? The fact that I haven't played this game in weeks, my god. So I decided to jump on this game, get a quick gameplay for you guys, do a little quick commentary. So this is not a long gameplay, it's like 3-4 minutes, so let's get this started. Basically, uh, what I want to talk about today is being impressive, being impressive on YouTube. A lot of people think being impressive is everything, but it is one main thing. All right, especially in the Call of Duty community, apparently being impressive is the biggest thing known to man. Being impressive in your gameplay is what matters the most. Oh my God, getting 100 plus gameplay is the best thing ever. Oh my God, going 150 and zero is awesome. All right, honestly, I'll I, I be honest. People like Jay Nasty, people like Saw Chasm, people like Green Goblin. You know, there's like 100 kill plus masters. 100 plus masters. But, is it the only impressive thing on YouTube? No. I'll be honest with you, YouTube is very impressive because there's a lot of talent out there. There's a lot of commentators who have very good talent, very good voice. They're very good at making people laugh. They're good at keeping you into their topics. But, in the Call of Duty community, it seems as if a lot of stuff in Call of Duty revolves around being having good gameplays. So when I go on a person's channel and I see he goes 100 or something and do, and everybody, oh my god, what a beast gameplay, oh my god, oh my god. Guaranteed that in about a week or two, somebody is going to overlap him, go with 200 or do something like crazy nonsense. I remember in MW3 when it was all about the Moabs, that was basically the most impressive thing of all time. During that time, it was like Moabs, 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 and I pick up the Orbital VSAT. But when Jay Nasty, I think it was the Quad Mo, no, the Penta Moab he got, it was like the most viral thing of all time. Honestly, that was a fucking amazing thing he could do, but it seems the, the being impressive in the Call of Duty community is all about... 100 kill gameplay. It's, it, it isn't about your voice. It isn't if you can keep them laughing. It isn't if, it, it isn't if you're entertaining. It seems like in COD now, now nowadays, it's all about your gameplay. Like it, you have to have 100 plus kill gameplay to be even enter semi entertaining in the community. But before it used to be about your voice, your tr your tips, your tricks, and it, it, your gameplay had something in it. But before it was all about tips, tricks. Humor, uh, personality, um, intense, uh, be, be able to keep people into your topics. But now it seems like everything has changed. It seems like these gameplays are like what re revolutionized YouTube. It's what like makes YouTube in COD one. But I see as a, as if I'm, I will not subscribe to your channel. I don't care if you drop 300 kills in one game. I will not subscribe to you if I, I hear the way you talk. The talk, you, the way you talk is you don't care about YouTube. You're just doing it to fuck around and make money or do something. I'm not gonna subscribe to you if I don't enjoy your content. Just because you dropped 100 kills or 300 kills does not make it seem. Doesn't make you impressive. It actually makes you good at the game. It, but it doesn't make you impressive. It doesn't mean you could entertain me. It doesn't mean you can make me laugh. It doesn't mean you can keep me into your commentary. So I will. I won't consider you impressive, I'll consider you good at the game, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video because if you did, drop a like and comment below, and soon we'll be starting up some more Let's Plays before Dead Island Riptide, and stay tuned, I'm out, PEACE!